not all disabilities are physically seen straight away and you should never judge a book by its cover. The best thing about teaching is the, the spark you see from students, especially when, for example, um, the other day we was handling snakes. To see someone that has always feared snakes or always wanted to hold a snake, as soon as you give that over to them, the, the, the light in their eyes it is those, those key moments that think, you know what, I actually do love teaching. I was born with a club foot on both of my feet. I think it's important to tell my story because I think when, when a lot of families give birth to children that have club foot, it's panic, it's, it's what do we do, you know, and it, it, what, what they're going to do when they're mauled and that sort of thing, it's, it's, it, it worries. But I think to tell my story that I have got this condition, I'm still here, I can do whatever I want to do. Um, like I, I've previously been a wildlife cameraman for a while, so I was travelling the world in Africa, I was doing all sorts of walking miles and miles, filming animals. Um, I was told years ago that was not possible. I think from my parents' perspective, um, to have known if there was alternative treatments rather than the surgical route would have been more beneficial because when I've been uh, to, to hospitals they've said that I was two years too late to have um, this physio Ponsetti method uh, which I've only recently just heard about. Because of um, how I was treated I'm always in pain now and I just wish the treatment was completely different back then and the information was provided back then. I was always the oddball. People used to play football, rugby. I used to pick up snails and slugs in the garden. You know, I've always had that passion for wildlife and animals. And for someone to tell me that I would never be able to work with them, I, I just didn't accept it. You know, I, I've pushed the boundaries. Um, I've walked up mountains. I've walked up snow, snow down here. I did my zoology degree there, and that's when I found my passion for wildlife filmmaking. And now I know I can do absolutely anything I want to do. I've seen so many cases of people that have done so many things, they've become athletes, they've become teachers, they've done all sorts of things that they wanted to do with their life. It's not the end of the world. If I had the opportunity to talk to someone who has a child that's just been diagnosed with club foot, is don't worry. If, if your child is passionate about what they want to do, they will get there and you just got to support them as best as you can. So I think it's important uh, for myself to work closely with STEPS or, and, and to tell people about STEPS. There is advice, there is help, there's organisations like STEPS that can help and there's loads of people like myself that, that can give advice to you and you know, help you towards your children's future.